So when I worked in the corporate world, the leadership skills I was applauded and rewarded for were exactly what you'd expect. Managerial competence, decisiveness, negotiation, doggedness. In fact, I had one client that used to refer to me as the classy bulldog. But I found that the best leaders, even if they display all of these skills, always have these much underrated leadership skills. Number one is humility. It's freedom from arrogance or pride. The ability to understand that your strong sense of identity defines but does not inflate your relevance. Number two is confidence, which is self-trust. It's a belief in your own power, your trustworthiness, and your reliability. It is to be full of conviction about who you are without being intimidated by the strengths of others. Number three is self-awareness, the ability to see yourself clearly and objectively through sober reflection and introspection, the ability to tune into your feelings, your thoughts, and your actions. It's emotional intelligence. Number four is vulnerability, the willingness to be seen and emotionally exposed in front of those that you lead. Number five is compassion. It's a mutual connection with the pain and suffering of those that you lead. It's a willingness to enter in, to suffer with, and to sacrifice for. Number six is discernment, the ability to judge well, not just the good from the bad, but the good from the better and the better from the best. It is the ability to replicate the mind of God on the earth. So these are underrated leadership skills that, in my experience, make the best and greatest leaders. They break down hierarchy and they infuse trust and relatability. Those are my tips of the day. Do with them as you will. Blessings.